Hey guys, Sebastian here with another Cardano update. This time we're going over the weekly report of uh, February 15th. So this uh, report, we'll just uh, dive right into it. Uh, first it's talking about uh, block syncing. Uh, notably it's talking about uh, proof of concept for block uh, uh, syncing using HTTP. And uh, you can see they've made a uh, new branch on the GitHub repository called the HTTP based block sync. And it's currently being worked on. This uh, specific pull request was uh, seven days ago, and they're trying to add in this functionality to what happens. And so this is because this is still on an experimental uh, branch. This is not uh, scheduled for release yet, uh, but they're working on this and seeing how it's going to work out. Uh, the next one is talking about uh, refactoring. Uh, they're talking about refactoring a few different things. Uh, most notably is the exception handling refactoring. I talked about in the previous week where they were also working on this. And we've got some more progress. Uh, notably last week, I showed you guys this uh, exception guideline, which they created, you know, a while back, talking about uh, what kind of exceptions uh, you can run into and how they think they should handle in their specific code base. And uh, from that, they made this pull request here four days ago, which was talking about a reliable shutdown improvements, which is to say when exception happens, how do you make sure that the uh, Cardano node uh, shuts down properly and does not uh, break as it's uh, terminating. Uh, the other one is they've got this other pull request, uh, which is from two days ago, where they're explaining some more errors in the code, uh, clarifying uh, what they do, uh, what errors they return. And they have a few other things. Uh, one of them is this other uh, pull request from four days ago talking about refactoring exception handling. And so again, they're doing some more work uh, on this refactoring change and this one's like a bulk change like 120 files where they just like I went through and just you know fixed up a lot of these uh, and you know, made some progress on this task and I'm, I'm sure, sure this is not done we'll see some more about this uh, next week in the next uh, technical update uh, next one is for documentation so they've mostly uh, uh, said they're working on internal documentation which is uh, not public yet, therefore I can't really talk about it or really show it off. Uh, they mentioned the exception handling guide, which is public. Uh, but I noticed that they also updated, uh, without mentioning the technical update, they mentioned, or sorry, on the GitHub, they actually updated the documentation on uh, system consensus rules. So if you want to go check out uh, this documentation they've made, which talks about how they will implement con uh, consensus on the Cardano platform, and they're still uh, working on this. This is a work in progress, but they've made some improvements uh, over the past few days. All right, next up, they're talking about the Diadalus wallet, uh, where they're saying they're preparing for the next major release of uh, React Polymorph library. If you're not sure what this is, actually, this is a library that they wrote. This is an IOHK library. Uh, you can find it uh, down here. Uh, and this library, yeah, as you can see up here, it's an IOHK library. And the point of this library is to uh, cut up React components into three parts. The component that handles the logic, the uh, scheme, which does the uh, rendering of the logic to UI, and then themes, which handles all the styling, CSS, and that kind of stuff. And if you actually look at this repository, there's no mention of 0 0.7. They're actually at uh, 0 0.61, I believe. So it's interesting that they mentioned that the uh, 0.7 release of this project is coming up before they've actually announced it on their GitHub branch. As you can see right here, it's 0.61. And they're actually preparing the uh, data as well for 0.7 before uh, publishing on their GitHub any information about 0 0.7, how it's going to work with the different stars. So there's no uh, readme or anything about the differences, so I don't know what the difference are and what they have to change for this, which is kind of interesting. Uh, they also mentioned uh, the upcoming release. And so uh, there's this pull request uh, from 15 days ago uh, where they started doing this uh, preparation with re for release and I'm sure they're still working on it. So we should expect to see a new version of the uh, node along with the wallet uh, coming in soon. I'm sure there'll be an announcement about that. Uh, next up is the wallet backend uh, where they're talking about benchmarking, trying to see how fast the wallet is and do wall improvements. So they've been spending the past uh, while actually as probably everybody knows by now, doing these improvements to the speed of the wallet to make sure everything runs smoothly, 
uh, both for exchanges and for personal users. Uh, and so here's a uh, large uh, pull request that they've been working on where they're working on the wallet backend benchmarking. So if you're interested, you can uh, go check out this uh, very long uh, work in progress. And I, I forgot to mention, but all these links will be given in the description of this video. So if you're interested in any of these things, you can just uh, go down to the YouTube description and click on the link. Uh, next is an API rewrite. So this is actually uh, continuing on from previous weeks. So they're still working on this. Uh, and they're saying that for a smoother transition process, uh, the old and new API will coexist on the same wallet backend, which I, I believe is new. I don't think they've mentioned that uh, this uh, was the case before. Uh, and they said they're working on assisted manual testing. I haven't seen this new API in the actual code base yet, so I don't know what this new API will look like exactly, uh, but I'm sure it will come uh, fairly soon if they're doing uh, manual testing and this kind of stuff at this point. So they've done like a, the integration, I think, probably. Uh, the next one is the data layer rewrite. So this is something that they've been talking about uh, a bit recently also. They had a recent video by IOHK talking about the wallet specification and how to uh, do an analysis, a formal analysis of the speed and runtime and performance characteristics of a wallet. And uh, they made a draft paper uh, and they've been uh, continuing to work on this draft paper. So you can see 21 hours ago, uh, they made another edit to this paper where they added a section on how to handle rollbacks in the paper, or sorry, in the in the wallet in a more mathematical sense. Uh, so this is actually like a paper. If you go to the actual file, this is the LaTeX document. And if you're interested in learning more about this paper, I released the video uh, earlier today, which was a uh, unofficial uh, Cardano whiteboard that I made where I talk about the uh, draft wallet spec and I go over different points of the spec uh, explaining how it works, the mathematical terms behind it. So if you're not a math major, uh, you can come listen to me uh, explain this uh, paper to you and hopefully it'll make things more uh, a lot easier to understand. Hopefully it's an interesting video for all of you. And uh, lastly, uh, they've been talking about networking and uh, I'm still not sure uh, exactly what they're working on for the networking stuff, uh, but we'll see what happens with it. Uh, lastly, as far as like a non-tech stuff, this is like a miscellaneous uh, work streams. Uh, we've heard some good news about the uh, hardware wallet coming out. And so here they are uh, giving us more detail about it. So they said that the user testing is uh, phase one uh, in planning. And then they're talking about uh, how this will probably be delayed, uh, which is down here. So they have a review scheduled 15th, which will probably be delayed. Uh, but they've been talking about this uh, hardware, uh, hardware wallet integration and it's set in stone that's gonna happen. They have uh, you know some documentation about it. I'm not sure documentation, but they have like some tweets where they share some information about it. Uh, so we know this is coming up and we know they've got the partnership. It is going to take uh, time to kind of uh, work all this out. And so that's it for uh, this update. Hopefully you guys all found this interesting. As usual, you can always subscribe to the channel for uh, updates whenever I make a video. You can also follow me on Twitter, uh, Reddit, uh, Steam, it, any other platform. And, uh, you know, follow me on this journey where we learn more about this exciting project. All right. Thank you.